In quantum mechanics, we introduce the concept that every observable of a system has associated with it an operator. And this operator, when you operate on the wave function, gives you the wave function back again times a constant. It's an eigenvalue equation where the wave functions are eigenfunctions. And these eigenvalues that you get are observables. Those are the actual measurements you can make of the observable. And in fact, you can only make a measurement that's equal to an eigenvalue corresponding to the operator. Well, these quantum mechanical operators are a special kind of operator. They're called Hermitian operators. Let's first define a Hermitian operator, uh, A. So here, A is operating with some function G, and you multiply it by the complex conjugate of another function, F. That's the same as if you take the Hermitian operator and multiply by F, and then take the complex conjugate of that, and then multiply that by G. Or another way to look at that is that you take this um, uh, thing here, if A is Hermitian, then the uh, integral here is equal to the complex conjugate of the interval. The eigenvalues, why, why is it important that the operator corresponding to an observable is Hermitian? It turns out that eigenvalues of Hermitian operators are real. Why is that important? Remember from the postulates of quantum mechanics is that you have an eigenvalue equation, A, the, the operator corresponding to some observable, operating on some eigenfunction of corresponding to a system. That will give you the, this eigenvalue equation, it'll give you the eigenfunction back again times a constant, and these constants are values that you can measure of the observable. Those are measured values of observables. Only those values that are eigenfunction of this equation. Well, these measured values of the observable, you want to be real numbers. Uh, it doesn't make much sense to have, say, a value of energy to be a uh, imaginary number where it has a real and imaginary component. So that's one of the requirements that you'd want for anything you actually measure in the, in, in the laboratory. And to guarantee that these are real numbers, you want the operator here to be Hermitian. Hermitian named after Hermit. Okay, another important uh, uh, property of Hermitian operators is that the eigenfunctions of the Hermitian operators are orthogonal. So remember we said it was um, useful uh, to have an orthogonal set of eigenfunctions because then any state of the system denoted by some wave function can be represented as a linear combination of these eigenfunctions that are uh, orthogonal and useful to be uh, normal, orthonormal basis set. So if you have a Hermitian operator and find the eigenfunctions, you'll find that the eigenfunctions of that Hermitian operator are orthogonal. So that's important.